Y'all, I am not exaggerating when I say I truly feel like a kid in a candy store because this is the next best thing. You probably know Seize Candies for their iconic collection of chocolates, caramels, toffees, and scotch mellows. <laughs> um, their nostalgic black and white candy shops make you feel like you've stepped back in time. Well, Seize has actually been around since 1921, an incredible feat for a brand that continues to grow. And in fact, this weekend, Seize is celebrating the grand opening of its new store in University Place. And my next guest is in town for that celebration. Please welcome C's president and CEO, Pat Egan. Amity, it's great to be here. Thank oh, you for having us. It is so great to have you here. Um, this is a big deal. I swear, I feel like I've been, I've had a lollipop from C's in my hand since before I ate solid food. Y'all have been around since 1921. How, how did it get started? So it got started in 1921 uh, by Mary the mother and Charles the son. They were immigrants. They actually just moved in from uh, moved down from Canada, wow. and uh, she was known as a fantastic candy maker, and she was. And we still have recipes. The peanut brittle here that was one of the absolute originals. That was her recipe. That was her. That was her. And so the black and white that you see that was mm -hmm. Mary's kitchen. And so our oh. theme was basically from her kitchen. So the first shop opened in Pasadena. I know you're a Bruin. Yep. Yep. Right? Yep. <laughs> And, uh, and and we've we've been up here since 1964. And is that really her? There, that I've always really wondered. That That's is really, really her. her. She's there in the show. Yeah, absolutely. Authentic, y'all. See? Yeah. That's cool. So today there are 250 stores all across the United States, including a new shop in University Place. Um, how has Seize stood the test of time? Well, Seize has stood the test of time uh, for a couple of reasons. First, our customers. Our customers, you know us. Oh, you we, love us. We trust you. Have you have your favorite piece. <laughs> yes. and, and that's part. Of, it's such a privilege. I've been with the mm -hmm. company for a little over five years and being able to hear those stories from people. And it's deep. It's deep seated yeah. in their brains. And and so those family histories and just the, the, mm -hmm. the love that they feel for the product. And the reason that they feel that is we make fantastic candy. We do. We stay true to, we don't add preservatives. I saw your last guest, fantastic uh, yep. spot on that, by the way. And we will only make the best candy. And so between our candy and the service, what you feel when you come into our shops and getting that smile and just, yeah. it's like cheers. They love you. They want to see you. And it's, there's so much nostalgia to it. I mean, I don't, I, I don't know about y'all out there, but personally, if there is not a C's <laughs> Easter uh, egg in oh. my Easter basket that the bunny dropped the ball because yeah. I, I have to say we all have that nostalgia. That's a big part That's of exactly it, right? right? That's exactly right. Yeah. No, it's, um, and, it, and again, I've just, I get stopped in airports. I love to go into shops and just hear people telling our associates Aww. about their memories and grandparents and their spouses and all of the wonderful things that we get to be a part of. Okay. So what's your favorite chocolate? My very favorite chocolate is our dark chocolate peanut butter heart. Followed really? by our milk pe milk chocolate uh, peanut butter patty. Uh, okay. I saw your. <laughs> I love peanut butter and I, chocolate. You, you, you try, can't you go wrong. try the peanut butter chocolate. Okay. No, th these are these are right uh, about a close third. Okay, so what he's talking about is my absolute favorite <laughs> is the Scotch Mellow, and this is a new flavor. This oh, is yeah. the dark choc dark coffee. Yep, yep. We introduced hold on, that. Hold on, I'm gonna close this up so I can show everybody else because I'm gonna share not this box, but I'll share it with you. All right, so tell me about this. That, well, so that was the one, one of the funnest pieces that we've done. So we introduced that, our centennial year was 2021, mm -hmm. so around 100 years. And in, I think, November uh, of that year, we introduced both a dark and a milk coffee scotch mellow, and we had a competition. And we asked our customers, what's your favorite? And dark, dark coffee scotch mellow came out first. So Amity? All right, here we go. There you go. All right. Mm. Oh my gosh. Get, get a close up here. You gotta see the reaction. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right? This is so good. You yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. So, so that is that's also in our coffee lovers uh, bundle, and we actually have a particular bundle. If your moms mm -hmm. love M Mother's Day is coming up, if moms love uh, coffee, we've got that for for her and anybody else that you love. All right. So I'm I'm gonna keep eating in a second. So I'm gonna put this <laughs> down. Let's. Okay. Is this the Mother's Day stuff you have here? This is the Mother's Day stuff. So Mother's okay. Day, March 12th, coming up, about mm -hmm. three weeks. Yes. Um, our newest piece. I would highly recommend the Garden Delights uh, tin. Is this the Garden Delights? You tin? can't go wrong. That's actually a new tin we introduced this year. It's okay. a wonderful so assortment of really some of our best. Okay. So the classics. You got the Bordeaux, you got the Scotch Mellow, the molasses chips, mm -hmm. uh, the piece that you called out earlier, the milk, uh, milk, uh, the butterscotch oh, chew. Okay, butterscotch square is my favorite. Yes. So don't ever touch that if you get my C's <laughs> candy. Get your hands left. Um, no, it's something for Okay, there's a Scotch Mellow right there. Yes. Is that the Bordeaux? That is the Bordeaux. Oh my gosh. The wonderful piece. Oh, it's such a great, it's such a great one. It really is. Actually, when I checked into the hotel last night, the woman asked me, are you here for business or pleasure? And I said, business, who do you work for? C's. And she went right to that. I get that all the time. I bet. All the time. The Bordeaux is great until you, you might, I started with the Bordeaux and then I went to the Butterscotch Square. So if you've never tried the Butterscotch it's Square, it's okay. Do it. We're not counting. Okay. The lollipops. <laughs> um, 
Strawberry cream? Stra oh, they're so good. They're so good. So these are a limited time. We only have these kind of in the spring okay. of the year. So we've got our orange cream, our strawberry cream. We've got a regular assortment. And we also have um, a cafe latte that you would love oh. as well. Oh, my gosh. Yes. You cannot go wrong with those. All right, let's talk about the new shop because yeah. I want to hear all about yeah. it. I because I, you know, Bellevue has been our option. Yeah. Or I've Which mostly is a great order option. online or you know do that. Sure. Um, but tell us about the new place. So University Place, we've been um, we open temporary shops okay. um, during the holiday, uh, and so we start we opened there about four years ago, and every year it's just gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. And so we want we always want to make sure we take care mm -hmm. of our customers, mm -hmm. and uh, so we're opening and we're not going to close this time. We're opening and going to be permanent. So. Saturday, we've got our grand opening. We always make a huge deal of it. Yeah. So we've got a cheer squad, a drum line from Curtis High School. Okay. The wonderful, and I do I do a cheer. Give me an S, give me an E. No, me. you do not. Absolutely do. Absolutely. What do we love? C's. Yes. The whole thing. Yeah. Oh, that's so <laughs> we cool. We always make a huge deal of it. It is so cool. All right. So I have a question for you. Yeah. It's, a, it's an etiquette question, a candy etiquette question. <laughs> okay. All right. So say someone were to, I don't know, eat all the scotch mellows off the top layer of a two you layer box. You might know somebody. Box. Yeah. I may know someone. <laughs> right. Or the nut shoes, Susie. Um, is it acceptable to go to the second layer when you haven't finished the first layer? Well, so you're talking to a guy that always believes the customer is right. Oh, I thank you. So it is whatever the customer wants. Now, I, I can fully understand. <laughs> He's calling you out. <laughs> I, can, I can fully understand the protocol. Yeah. Um, but you got to get what you got to get. You got to get what you got to get. See, you heard the man. Not enough of this heckling off stage here. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. You got to get the good stuff. Oh, my gosh. It has been an absolute delight chatting with you about this wonderful, iconic piece of Americana that it means so much to us. So well, we thank you for the opportunity. We thank you for the opportunity. And we also just want to give the healthy reminder for everyone. Mother's Day is coming up. Yes, please. Please know <laughs> that. And you've taken note of my favorite chocolates. Thank you. There you go. Thank you so much. It's, it's been a been pleasure. pleasure. Absolutely. Thank and um, I'm going to keep eating these. You can leave these. Coffee lovers. Don't forget the, cho the chocolate covered coffee beans too. Oh, I'm going to eat those too.